Hello everyone, this is me, Sakya here, and I'm back with the third week of uh, October reads, start from the 15th through the 21st of October 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of Pisces. So Pisces, let's see how this week is going to be for all of you out there. I will be adding oracle cards on this reading, so stay tuned. And before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it's a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out other services that I offer as well in the description box. So let's see, Pisces, how this week is going to be for all of you out there. Let's begin. Ten of Swords, something has ended for you. It can be uh, addiction, attraction, connection, something that was kind of causing you a lot of suffering, pain, um has ended for you like you know you are done with it you are not going to be dealing with it any further um i feel like you know something might have broken you to the core and i feel like you know you are ready to kind of like let it be now you're not gonna lift yourself up around it and you're just gonna let it skip let it go let it like you know end forever so there is an ending coming in for you for this uh, week time i feel like you know it's happening already as you walk into the uh, you know uh, third week of october it might have already happened for some of you but you are not gonna chase this any further you're not gonna try to work it out any further you're just gonna let it be let it go um so it can be a relationship it can be some sort of addiction that you might have had uh to a person um like drugs or you know smoking whatever but it is like something that you're ready to let go of um let's see more cards here for of swords i feel like you know um you are hurt you're down you're feeling low for some of you you might be dealing with some health issues as well and if that's happening i really feel like you know you might be like you know um getting recovered in the in this week time especially in the very beginning maybe you're gonna feel sick but if that's happening you are going to get you know uh, better with every passing day so I feel like you know for the majority of you it's not about your health it's more about a situation or a relationship but whatever the case is you are going to start feeling uh, better with every passing day but at the same time even if thinking of uh, you know even if you think about this ending it's just going to make you feel bad it's just going to hurt you it's just going to pinch you again so i feel like you know you are not going to be like you know letting this pain continue you would try to you know fight it you're going to try to kind of like you know pull yourself out of the situation and never look back again so there could be like a relationship might be ending for you or you are choosing to put an end to a you know the waiting period that you might have had towards a specific someone you're just pulling yourself out of that um we do have the star next and i feel like you know you are going to start picking up yourself and move forward in a new direction i really feel like you know you will be getting hopeful about your life about your future so whatever it is that you're struggling with in the very beginning of the week time i feel like you know you are going to be able to sur you know surpass or surmount all the issues and um difficulties that you were having and you're going to walk into a different uh direction for yourself to see that like you know uh, life has much more to offer than just this which has ended so you are going to look at the brighter side of the picture you're not going to let yourself get dragged into anything negative for long so i feel like you know the second half is going to be like you know where you are going to start feeling positive uh, about your life over again. Um, I feel like, you know, initially you're going to feel like, you know, you're stuck. You don't know where you're going to go, where you are heading now because everything is over. Everything is done. But then you will start picking up yourself and you're not going to be picking yourself up towards a situation. You're not going to do that again. You're not going to put yourself there where you, where you got hurt again. So you are going to value yourself. You're going to walk away from anything that was like making you feel bad. And you are going to like, you know, just pick yourself up thinking that something better will come for you. Something good will happen. You're going to start like, you know, boosting your confidence about it. Uh, that yes, you are worthy of love. Yes, you are worthy of stable uh, relationship. Yes, you are worthy of uh, getting the kind of love that you always dreamt of. So you're going to move in a new direction, hoping to see love again, hoping to find that, you know, person who, who you are destined to be with. Um, I feel like, you know, for majority of you, you are ending a situation with a person who has been kind of like, you know, taking you for granted you're ready to leave that person behind you're ready to move ahead in a new direction for yourself um and like you know walk towards the life that you always dreamt of having the marriage having the babies with that person having a relationship which is fulfilling that's going to be the main thing for you on your mind whether you see it coming or you don't but you know that ending a situation which was toxic is the first most priority for you right now so you're going to put an end to that and then you are hopeful and moving forward in a new direction to find love that you once desired 
um you know you're gonna keep the doors open to the to the idea like you know who is that person gonna be you're just gonna know one thing that i want love and a happy relationship which gives me the fulfillment that i seek in love so i really see you walking towards a life that you always dreamt of when it comes to your love life so you are going to let love in you're going to let a person in who is going to give you the marriage proposal the commitment that you desired or that you crave for in love so you're going to go for you know that on the deck we do have the chariot i feel like you know you are definitely you know that that choice that you made here to put an end to that situation as the is the push that you needed to move forward in the right direction for your love life and i feel like you know that has uh, happened you're not gonna invest into anything shitty now so you are gonna be like you know moving ahead and let the divine take you closer to what you dream of desire of and i feel like you know the one that uh, you are destined to be where this person is going to love you this person is going to value you this person is going to put effort they are not going to be like holding themselves back they are not going to be like you know uh taking you for granted they're going to love you for who you are they're going to value you for who you are so i feel like you know you are walking towards that kind of a connection which is going to um you know which is going to give you the kind of happiness that you always dreamt of the kind of love that you always wish for a person who's going to value you a person who's going to give you the commitment that you always seek so i feel like you are definitely walking towards something better for yourself and in, in your love life during this week time putting an end to a situation um let's see what else do you need to do to have what you desire in uh, this week time what is the oracle guidance for you around it what shall you be doing to have what you desire in your love life during this week time what else do you need to be focused on or to be working towards to get what you desire and love peacekeeper let go and uh the let go of the need to be right i feel like you know that's exactly what you're going to be doing make a peace with the current situation and move forward let it be let it go that's what you're going to be doing and that's exactly what is going to bring you the happiness that you always dreamt of see from a higher perspective eagle I feel like you know for majority of you 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 are gonna feel like okay fine if this is ending it there must be a highest uh you know purpose behind that if things didn't work out it must be working out with somebody better that you uh you know desire maybe things didn't work out for a good reason and you have to allow that reason to come and show um you know itself to you that this was the reason like in a person that you deserve is somebody who can give you the kind of love life that you always dreamt of so instead of keeping yourself stuck with the wrong person i feel like you know you're just going to open up yourself to move ahead move forward with your love life so i feel like you know that uh, that ending is going to make you see the you know you know imagine like you know you you cannot even imagine how many varied possibilities you will find uh to uh to move ahead with with the life that you always dreamt of um i feel like you know for a majority of you you cannot like you know as you're choosing to end the situation it it is going to be painful it is going to be you know troublesome but that ending is going to give you the breakthrough that you needed in a love life to have or to allow the love to enter in your life that you were blocking by being with the wrong person so i feel like you know you are just definitely opening that uh you know uh door to yourself where where you are going to allow goodness into your life so let's see some more oracle cards here let's see what else do you need to know or do to have what you desire and love during this week time what else do you need to know or do chakra clearing call upon the angels to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes you can allow the newness into your life by you know clearing your chakras right now let go of the past completely let go of the karmic cycles let go of everything and anything that was negative and clear yourself up uh and your energy up um then take back your power use your god-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life it's high time that you intend whatever it is that you desire and allow the divine to help you create that life that you truly really dream of um i feel like and it's more about the time when you are going to acknowledge your own powers given by the god and choosing the path which is going to be of least resistance we're not giving power to another person to treat you you know bad or make you feel bad in any possible way you are letting only the right kind of people right kind of situations to enter in your life you're blocking out negativity from your life by choosing the right step in your life right now so yeah that's pretty much it coming up for you for this uh week time if it was of help do like share and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye